This video is to show an overview of the demo we produced for Big Data London to show some insurance data being ingested, transformed, and pushed out to a Power BI dashboard using DataOps and Talon. Here is the source data that will be used for the demo. It comes in the form of an Excel spreadsheet with various worksheets. We have worksheets for clients, address information, reference data around gender and policy types, we have a list of policies for per customer and some claims against the policies. To ingest the data, we use Talent. This is the job we created to get the data to land in our target database. Initially, we create a pre-job at the beginning to set up some of our connection parameters around S3 and Snowflake. And then we go through each individual worksheet in the Excel spreadsheet to land that data in our target database. Now we have tested and created the Talent job we can now create the relevant artifacts in DataOps to orchestrate and automate that job, as well as transform and model the data that is landing in our target database. This is the configuration file we use in DataOps for orchestrating the Talent job we just created. We're using Talent Cloud, so we use the, the TMC runner image. We provide it with a TMC task ID and access token. We also provide some extra variables around timeouts and the TMC region we use. Now we have completed our configuration file for orchestrating Talent, we can begin to model and transform our data in DataOps. This is an example of our claims count by policy model that we have built. If you have used DBT before, this should look very familiar. DataOps modeling and transformation engine uses DBT with an extended set of libraries and macros. Here is the consumption layer view for the claims count by policy model we built. We're providing some friendly alias names to some of the fields we have created, which will then be exposed to Power BI to do some dashboarding. We've also created a corresponding YAML file, which will be used for documentation and some automated data tests. We have some simple tests here around minimum row checks, a unique combination of columns, and also some constraint checks on various fields here for claim cost, customer number, etc. Next, we will create our configuration file for our data pipeline. You can see that we are running our modeling and transformations that we have created, our talent DI job for ingesting the insurance data, and some automated stuff around modeling and transformation documentation, and the orchestration of Snowflake. This is what the pipeline will look like once created and run. We do some automated stuff in our target data warehouse here for creating our database, orchestrating our talent job, compiling our models for our modern data architecture we have built for creation, calculation, and consumption. We run our automated de data tests and generate our documentation. For our Big Data London demo, we also created a Power BI dashboard to visualize the data we have just ingested and transformed in our target data warehouse. Here you can see some visualizations around age bracket by policyholder. A nice geospatial graph here showing the distribution of policies throughout the United States and some information around policies per state and the policy balance and claim counts against them. We also use talent data inventory in our demo to get a better insight and understanding on the data we've just ingested and transformed. You can see here our trust score is a 4.33 with high scores in completeness, popularity and validity. Usage and discoverability should go up over time as more and more people use that data. We have a really good insight into our data quality here where it defines some invalid values that we have and some empty values. Talent data inventory also allows us to view sample sets of our data to actually visualize where our data is invalid. We can see here that for our zip codes in America, we have some invalid values for the state of New Jersey. After doing some research, this is because this zip code should begin with zero and our ingestion has removed the leading zero from our field, probably because of a data type issue. This is something that we could then go back and fix in our talent job.